This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. All right, here we go, uh, northern season 2021. Uh, just got into up north, uh, I don't know, just over a day ago. Hustled to get the boat together. Gonna get out, gonna see what's out on the bay. Uh, we'll see. The water's a little cold, fluke is slow, but there's some other stuff around, and uh, yeah, gonna do some porgies and hey, make sure the boat runs. Uh, all right, we'll see. All right, I'm just minutes from the dock here, and I've come across some fish on top of the water, so huh, just wanna bend the rod. Oh, okay. Here's my second cast and first striper of the season. Hello, Mr. Striper. All right, first striper of 2021. Off we go. All right, I just wanted to break the ice. I took like one more drift, and now I'm uh, <clears throat> heading farther back into the bay. And hey, this is the area where most people fluke fish, and um, at this time of year, and there's nobody there. Uh, which you know, I know it's early in the morning, but the sun is up pretty high, and there is not a single boat fluke fishing here. Uh, I know that's going to change later, but uh, this was kind of a surprise. Okay, I'm trying to get to the porky grounds, but I've got to go past this. Uh, nice rip and drop off so I'm just gonna bounce metal on my way through and uh, see what's there. I didn't spend any time there. Uh, moved on to the porky grounds, and uh, I'm just looking to set up. I've got some marks. So um, that chart that you see on the fish finder, that's a, a Humminbird Coastmaster chart. Very nice to see the, the contours and things. So uh, I'm just looking for the porky spot that I want to stop on. So normally I drift and um, try to catch some first before anchoring, but come on. I mean, I'm on uh, existing marks here and uh, marking stuff. I mean, I'm on existing spots where I've fished these before and marking stuff. So I, I've just hit spot lock, gonna anchor, drop down and see. If I catch, then I'm gonna throw the chump pot down right away. Give 
give him a nice big piece to chew on here. Alright, start with a three quarter ounce. The tide should start slowing. Now, let's see if there's any light. Bites. Okay, let's see what we got. That's a porgy that I'm putting the chum down. This feels like a small porgy. Yep, okay, good enough. I mean, that's a keeper, but I'm gonna do better than that. Get the chum down. So that's good, didn't have to drift and look for him. So I get all my bait at uh, We Go Fishing in South Hole. So there's a block of clam chum. That will last about 45 minutes in that pot. Um, the squid I'm using is at least one year old. Well, we'll say it's one year old and it, it could actually be older than that. But again, I, I do get the bait um, at We Go. It's really high quality. So even though this stuff's been in the freezer for at least a year, it's in good shape to start with. So um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be just fine for this trip. All right, I'm in about 35 feet of water. I'm using a three-quarter ounce SNS John Skinner Blackfish Porky Jig. When the current picks up, and it is, it's actually not going to drop off on me. It's a kind of a funny back eddy over here, and then it just gets moving faster. Um, I will go up to one ounce, but I don't need to go any heavier than that. 15-pound uh, test sprayed, and uh, these light jigs stay down. Um, yeah, you know, all right, so this is about as small a porgy as I'll catch on this trip. The jig is still going to hook that. You'll see times where I will miss hits. Um, I don't miss too much, uh, but I kind of like using the jigs because I feel like it culls out larger porgies. You know, on this drop here, you're going to see I'm going to miss, miss a couple of times. And, well, you got, like, a lot of smaller porgies down there, too. I don't want to hook those. don't want to waste time on those, but it does a great job on on getting the larger ones. And yeah, it's going to get some smaller ones too, but generally does a great job on the porgies. You can't get your hand around. Yeah, right there. That's it. That is what I'm out here for. All right, the limit on these is nine inches. I, I'm not going to get anything even close to being that small this trip. Everything's going to be uh, well over nine inches. Um, and you can keep 30, and oh boy, that's a lot of fish. Uh, I'm going to look to keep around 10 or so nice ones um, because they are delicious. Mm. 
So I thread this stuff on pretty good. I'm not looking to get great action. It's just putting some bait down there for them, and they're gladly going to eat it. And by threading it on, they tend to get the hook a little bit easier. When, when you've got that chum going and you put down, it should be instantaneous. As soon as you get down to the bottom, you should have action. If you don't, then you're probably out of chum, um, especially if you start seeing sea robins start mixing in and you're not getting a lot of porgies. Uh, yeah, that's time to make sure that you still have stuff in the chum pile. Like I said, it'll last about 45 minutes or so. As with any fish that I'm going to eat, I'm going to bleed these out. And, you know, I've heard, I've seen comments on my channel, oh, you don't need to bleed porgies. You've got to be kidding. These things have a lot of blood in them. Uh, you, know, you see that in the bucket up there. That's just from a, a couple of fish because I have been changing the water. Uh, but, yeah, there's a lot of blood. You get it out of them. It really makes for better meat. Uh, so, yeah, you know, I, I give them a good slit, get the blood going. They die quickly. The blood gets out of them. Then they go on ice and... Uh, makes for really excellent eating. Just make sure you get a really deep cut. You know, this is going to kill them faster, bleed them out faster. Uh, all around it, it it's just going to make for much better eating. Okay, nice to see a weak fish on the first trip of the year. Uh, yeah, I'm going to net him because if I try to swing him over, there's a good chance uh, he's going to tear off. So, yeah, this is great to see. Uh, we're seeing more and more every year. Um, we're not near what it used to be back in the 70s and 80s, but uh, hopefully we're getting towards a comeback on these. Okay, so I fished about 90 minutes for porgies and easily had a limit. I, I kept about around 10 or so. I used less than one squid to do this. So that's a, a very economical way. So it was, yeah, it was less than one squid and it was two blocks of chum. And now I've stopped uh, on the fluke grounds on the way back to where I launched. And this is the Peconic Bay system. I think most people um, in this region uh, recognize this. I think I got a fluke. It's a fluke. One of the season. Eighteen. Goodbye. 
by. Yeah, so that was like several drifts uh, before I got one. And this was Friday, May 7th, so uh, it, water temperature is 55. The fishing is definitely slow. I'm not seeing hardly anything coming up on the other boats, but uh, I've got some action on this drift. All right, and these are my first northern fish on my new fluke rod, uh, and that's available at J&H, and there's a link in the video description. So I'm still on this uh, on the same trip where I caught those two fish, and boy, that was great to see another weak fish. Alright, well I'm happy with this for a first trip. Plenty of life, a uh, good variety, uh, I'm marking a lot of bait, and uh, things are looking up. Alright, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit the notification bell.